Future Skyhawks. My name is Mr. Reed, and I am the Director of Instrumental Music at Mount Solo Middle School, which means I teach both band and orchestra. If you're interested in band or orchestra as your elective choice for next year, I'm going to tell you a little bit about both so that you can make a decision to see what is the best fit for you. If you choose to do band next year, you'll have a choice of an instrument from three families, the brass family, the woodwind family, or the percussion family. The brass family is made up of many instruments. Next year, you could choose from any one of these, including high brass instruments like the French horn, or maybe the trumpet. Or you could choose a low brass instrument, like the trombone, the baritone, or the tuba. decided on a woodwind instrument next year, then you'd likely start on one of the two, either the clarinet or the flute. After about half of the year, you'd be welcome as an option to audition for the saxophone. The percussion section is one that is by audition only, so if you're interested in playing, uh, piano or percussion experience helps, but you'll need to audition for me the first week of school. There are so many instruments to this family that I can't even show them all on this video. Here's a few examples. You have the timpani here, which are low and support the bass lines. A mallet instrument, something you might be used to playing in elementary school. Various drums, including the drum set. Another class choice you might be interested in when you come to Mount Solo next year is orchestra. If you decide to do orchestra next year, you have four instruments to choose from. The highest of these instruments is the violin. A little bit lower and a little bit larger than the violin is the viola. Much larger than either of those is the cello. The cello must be played sitting down in a chair. And the largest of the four is the bass. The bass must be played standing up. So if any of these instruments seem interesting to you, then orchestra would be your choice from next year. Information will be coming to you and your parents soon about class signups for next year. If you think that you might want to take band or orchestra, I look forward to seeing you in the fall and making some music. I'm Mrs. Noakes and I am the choir teacher and this is Miss Davis and she's our accompanist. We were just performing out of the book that you will use when you're in the sixth grade and I wanted to tell you a little bit about what choir is like in sixth grade. In addition to singing we also use percussion instruments kind of like you used when you were in the fifth grade and we have a drum bucket band and I have all of my students play the piano and we learn songs 
like these right here on those pianos. In addition, you learn how to really read the music and you learn to sing in what's called solfege. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. And some of the songs that you'll sing are this, all this on this list here. Our sixth graders were singing that whole list this spring. And then our seventh and eighth graders, they were getting ready for contests because that's what they do every year in the spring. They get to go to competitions. We really want you to be in choir because we know music makes the difference. Your dreams and dedication will make our choir rock. And together, everyone achieves more because we become a choir team. So please join our choir.